Welcome to ABZ Innovations Video Guide. In this part, we'll walk you through the key steps for handling, storing, transporting, and charging your batteries. So your drone always operates with optimal performance and reliability. Storage and Transportation To keep your drone's batteries in good health, store them only at temperatures above 0 degrees Celsius, as lower temperatures can damage the internal cells. The ideal storage conditions are between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius, with a relative humidity under 60%. For extended periods of inactivity lasting more than a few days, always set your batteries to storage mode at 60% charge. Remember to check on them monthly and if it is necessary, recharge them back to 60%. When transporting the batteries, ensure they are protected from impacts and avoid drastic temperature changes and moisture. Battery insertion and powering on. Before attaching the battery, make sure your remote controller is already switched on. Then, insert the battery into the drone. But please remember that the method for connecting the battery to the drone varies by the drone type. For larger models, push the battery in until you hear it click into place. Turn on the battery with one short and one long press of the power button, then wait for the system to boot and connect to the remote controller. For smaller platform drones, simply insert the battery and make sure the quick connector is fully plugged in. Please pay attention to that on smaller platform drones. It powers on as soon as the battery is inserted. You can check the battery's charge level by pressing the power button once. Pre-flight and in-flight checks. Before taking off, always verify the battery's charge level using the LED indicators. Only fly with a fully charged battery. Keep in mind that the battery's performance and discharge rate are affected by factors like temperature, load, and the condition of the internal cells. It's crucial to continuously monitor the voltage throughout your flight. Generator selection. For the safe and efficient operation of the chargers, it is essential to select a generator with adequate capacity. The smaller platform drones require a single 16 amp, 230 volt output for charging, whereas the larger platform drones need two separate, independent, single phase 16 amp outputs, also at 230 volts. Charging Strategy To ensure an efficient and seamless operation, ABZ Innovation has developed a specialized four-battery cycle. This strategy, which focuses on increasing battery lifespan and economic operation, ensures that your workflow remains continuous and uninterrupted. To begin, take four fully charged batteries with you to the field for optimal charge management during your work. In this system, one battery is in flight, one is in a rest phase, while two batteries are charging simultaneously with split power. This setup ensures that a fully charged battery is always ready so you never have to wait for a battery to finish charging. We also recommend allowing a rest period for the batteries after charging so that they can cool down before the next flight. Battery use and charging. Always use batteries that are in good condition and free from any damage. During use and charging, pay close attention to environmental conditions and be especially careful to prevent the battery from becoming too cold or overheating. Additionally, always keep the battery dry and when it is not in use, avoid direct sunlight as much as possible. Please make sure that the batteries for the L10 and C10 type drones are primarily charged in slow or normal mode. To extend the life of your batteries, it's best to avoid letting them fall below a 20% charge. Using the balance cable with L10 batteries. For the efficient and safe charging of L10 type batteries, the use of the balance cable is essential. This auxiliary connector must always be connected to the charger and the battery before commencing the charging process. The balance cable ensures voltage equalization among the battery's 12 cells. This is critically important as it prevents the overcharging or undercharging of individual cells, minimizes voltage disparities between the cells, and thereby contributes to maintaining the battery's optimal lifespan and reliable performance. We hope these steps help you handle your batteries safely and efficiently, ensuring your drone always flies with optimal and reliable performance. Please remember that while these videos provide a brief summary, you must primarily follow the steps in the operator's manual. Thank you for joining us. If you found our video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button. See you in the next video.